guys welcome to the highly anticipated J Allen chassis review in today's video we're pretty much gonna just show you what the J Allen can do you know when I got started in the precision rifle scene the J Allen was all the rage and we've sort of come full circle a couple of years later with MDT taking over J Allen and I'm super excited to shoot a 400 meter gong in what is now windy conditions because just now it wasn't and we'll get to that in a bit so we're at 400 meters we're gonna dial to 2.3 I'm just get on here. We do have a target cam for you to check out. Okay, hitting definitely on the right edge. Now, it's really nice about this chassis system, stock system, sort of a hybrid, if you will. It's got a built in arc rail, so your sky pod is right at home, and the recoil profile is quite nice. Get this set up. Middle finger on the money. Okay, we're gonna do one shot. Let's get my bag there. <laughs> we'll do one shot off the tank traps. We can actually bail on the sky pod right about now. So let's put that over there. Get on the tank trap. Now, this chassis is not really sort of the latest and greatest precision rifle chassis. Because it's sort of more designed for, you know, I just want a cool rifle, do some long range matches, maybe drop your 6.5 PRC. This shot's going to be tremendously difficult. But we should be able to get it done. Let's just get our bolt closed. That's going to be the challenge over there. Right. Psych of the bolt. Do some double taps over here. So, I mean, if you were considering picking up the J. Allen from MDT, I've uh, got a little bit of a mag. I have to be honest, I'm running out of breath a little bit, <laughs> doing all the talking and moving and shooting. But if you were thinking about, hey, maybe I want to try something different. I want to get sort of a more conventional style rifle. You know, I like the stock. Design, maybe I want to get a, a J Allen chassis and shoot some precision rifle if you could do it or not. I think it's safe to say you could do it. Woo! Was that 10 out of 10? 9 out of 10 again. Very <laughs> well lost. Very well It's a difficult position there. Yeah. Especially when I'm like heavy breathing. Doing the talking and shooting is not easy. So interestingly enough, earlier I ran this exact stage, but I hadn't spent the time because I literally just popped this into the chassis for you guys. On the J Allen, you can adjust. It's pretty nuts the amount of adjustment you can do with your magazine. And I hadn't tuned that just yet. And I was having quite severe feeding issues. I think here I had to like double tap, tap, rack, bang type of situation. To get it to feed now if i spend more than two minutes on modifying this magazine well i would possibly get that right but as i was saying the chassis is very much designed for sort of a dual use it's more sort of a luxurious xrs if you will obviously it predates the xrs significantly you guys know i'm a massive fan of sort of that hybrid style you know i can take this hunting although this is pretty heavy so you don't necessarily want to take this hunting but if you wanted to get a chassis for you know shooting the odd long range match shooting the odd precision rifle match you sort of like this look then this is something to consider obviously it's on the higher you know spectrum of the budget but we've got a target here at 750 meters so i'm going to just check my dope here i think it should be 6.5 so let's go 6.5 i'm going to see i haven't shot at this at all so we're going to see if we can actually make this happen now we forgot to hit go on the camera on the back so you guys are going to take our word for it on this one uh, let's get our bag going in fact, for YouTube, we will quickly fire up the camera at the back and then pick this up. And there's moan, you love you! <laughs> Are we doing a one take on this? Okay, let's briefly set this up. Don't moan. Everyone's like, beat the target cam, beat the target cam. I'm so sick of hearing that, so now you have a target cam. Okay, that, adjust the focus a little bit. Focus. 
and recording that's the target over there let's get that framed up another win it's picked up a little bit since we shot last so i'm going to do about 0.6 for wind on this one let's go 0.6 from the left in fact no that's significantly further so we're going to go 0.7 and see if we can ring some steel Okay, if you don't buy Jay Allen, you're missing out on that. <laughs> so my brother on that take forgot to put on his ear protection and he felt the full boom of the Raptor muzzle brake. On the dasher, luckily, it's a small case, so he's all right. But uh, obviously my reaction was pretty stoked. You know, earlier today we filmed another video and I also made a pretty spectacular shot. This is a relatively small plate out here. It's a far distance. We've not zeroed this rifle on paper, nothing. I literally just took the barreled action and popped it into the chassis and we came out here and we started at 400. And I think we've missed two shots in like 20 something shots and that was shooting positional stuff. So I am absolutely blown away with the J Allen. And yes, MDT has sponsored this video, but holy bananas. First of all, looks wise, I think we can all agree this thing is sexy. It's a family friendly channel, so I can't finish that sentence, but it's sexy. And um, I'm super, super blessed to have one of the very first ones. They are actually available now. This is still a pre-production model. And I'm looking forward to getting my hands on sort of the production version of this sometime soon so stick around i will probably shoot a match or two of this this year uh, or this coming year because we have just entered into the new year so happy new year everyone and again thanks for watching please subscribe down below and if you want to see the other video we filmed today which came out freaking baller you're going to want to check out this one over here see you in the next one bye